I'm going to tell you a story about breaking the law. It started in the 80s, in the rising tide of the war on drugs, when a case unfolded that was unlike anything the feds had ever seen. Investigators call it the largest domestic marijuana syndicate in American history. 70 people were indicted, 29 farms were busted, and by the U.S. government's count, 182 tons of marijuana were seized. These people all came from the heart of Kentucky, and no one would say a word. This is a story of farmers who grew acres of marijuana hidden across Kentucky bluegrass, a place forged by prohibition and poverty. Prohibition is a four-letter word here. By moonshining and rebellion. It really became a town of lawlessness. And the Vietnam War. We was all outlaws and now we're all heroes. It's a story of marijuana seeds smuggled from the Middle East, of people who keep lions and bears as pets. And they're like, yeah, our drug dealers had lions. Your drug dealers didn't have lions. I thought everyone's drug dealers had lions. Depending on who you ask, it's a story of country boys who were trying to put food on the table. Or it's a story of outlaws bucking the system. Don't let them say, aw shucks, we're just a bunch of good old boys trying to make a living tilling the soil like our ancestors did. The truth is that this was a sophisticated, well-financed organization. And most of all, it's a story about loyalty and a code of silence. They don't feed us rat poisons because we're not rats. They forget about the little fella out here. Don't say no, just say grow. And their cases became a flashpoint in the war on drugs. Other than slavery, drug policy in this country is the single worst human rights abuse that the United States government has committed domestically in our history. And everyone knows about the man who became synonymous with it all. A man named Johnny Boone. Growing up, he was a legend to me. Uh, he was audacious. And that's why people have Johnny Boone bum stickers on their freaking car. This little town got stories everywhere. This is the story of one of the biggest domestic marijuana busts in American history. This is the story of the Cornbread Mafia. Coming soon 